What's up family? We have some good news regarding our SNAP recipients. Some individuals started receiving a surprise $100 deposit onto their EBT cards over the weekend. Some recipients were receiving them and then some people were not. But still, it was like a mystery because no one could explain where and why they were actually receiving them. But I think we just solved the mystery after the governor came out yesterday with some new information. We also have one state that just announced that their PEB benefits will be delayed and distributed sometime next month. I've got the details to share with you in just a moment, but before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to the channel as well as hit the like button as it really helps us grow on YouTube. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Uh, yes, guys, in regards to SNAP benefits, uh, we did receive word a couple of months ago that uh, the SNAP benefits are going to be increasing on October the 1st. But guess what, guys? We just received word from some individuals and they were receiving some random $100 deposit onto their EBT cards over the weekend. Everybody was commenting, saying that some people were receiving them and then some people were hasn't necessarily received them. And we are talking about in the state of New York. In fact, we didn't figure out what was going on until yesterday when the governor, Kathy Hocho, got on the news and reported that uh, there is a $12 million being provided in assistance for struggling families with children. Uh, yes, guys, as you can see right here on the New York State Governor Kathy Hochul's website, she announced this information on October the 17th, in which households enrolled in public assistance with a child of 17 years or younger in their household will be receiving a one-time payment of $100. Uh, yes, guys, the mystery has been solved. Yes, guys, this is in regards to the Pandemic Emergency Assistance Fund to help more than 120,000 households across New York State. And as you can see right here, guys, one time $100 payments coming to some New York families with children 17 or younger. Um, excuse me what I said earlier. It is 17 or younger. Uh, but anyways, guys, the New York governor, Kathy Hochul, announced that households enrolled in the public assistance with children 17 years or younger will receive a one time payment of $100 due to our success in providing assistance from the Federal Pandemic Emergency Assistance Fund to some of our most vulnerable residents, New York has qualified for additional funding that went unused by other states. This federal funding further helps households that suffered from the economic toll caused by the pandemic and gives these families a quick infusion of cash to assist with their expenses. That is a message coming directly from Governor Kathy Hochul. Uh, so anyways, guys, if you are out there and you live in New York and you receive this mystery $100 on your EBT card, uh, this is exactly where that money is coming from. And just to be clear, guys, this is just a one-time payment. You are not going to be receiving this every single month. It is just a one-time payment. And this is only for those individuals in which you have a out in your household that is younger than 17 years old. Uh, so anyways, guys, we are glad to find out exactly why those individuals were receiving this money. However, on the flip side, some individuals that don't necessarily have children under the age of 17 years old, they are kind of a little upset right now because they were unable to participate in receiving this additional $100 benefit or $100 boost, if you will. So, uh, but anyways, guys, we are glad to find out that information. And moving on, guys, we do want to go ahead and talk about the state of Kentucky, in which uh, previously we were told that uh, the PEBT or the summer PEBT funds of $120 will be added to uh, existing EBT cards uh, from that particular time frame through the end of September. But guys, unfortunately, that did not happen. But the good news is that we just received updated information in regards to uh, these new PEBT funds and now we know exactly when the state of Kentucky is expected to receive their summer PEBT benefits. As you can see right here on this particular post on Facebook, uh, shockingly enough, but uh, it says that this is coming from the Elizabethtown Independent School District. It says that, look, this is a friendly update from the Cabinet for Health and Family Services. Summer PEBT funds will now be added to existing cards sometime in the middle of November. It will be 100 
$120 per student if they were enrolled in Elizabethtown Independent Schools in May of 2023. Uh, if you have specific questions, you can easily call the number or the Cabinet for Health and Family Services at the phone number 833-501-501. 5297. Again, we are referring to the Kentucky Summer PEBT benefits of $120 for eligible children. And then last but not least, guys, we also have an update in regards to the state of Delaware. Uh, they just made an announcement, I believe it came out a few days ago, in which uh, they are beginning retroactively issuing PEBT benefits for the school year of 2022 through 2023 and the summer of 2023. It says right here that Delaware begins retroactively issuing these benefits for those specific school years. And yes, guys, the Delaware Division of Social Services is issuing retroactive emergency food assistance benefits under the Pandemic Electronic Benefits Transfer Program, or better known as the PEBT program, for the school year of 2022 through 2023, as well as the summer of 2023 to Delaware households with eligible children. Now, now, again, families with children who were enrolled in kindergarten through the 12th grade at Delaware School for those specific school year uh, will qualify for the PBT benefits under three conditions if they are met. Uh, the first condition on the list is that a child uh, attended a Delaware school uh, during that particular time frame that qualified for the PBT benefits because of the school was either closed or operated with reduced attendance or hours for at least five consecutive days. The second condition is that that the child was certified either directly through categorical eligibility or through an application to receive free or reduced price meals or attended a community eligibility provision school where all students receive free meals through the National School Lunch Program or the School Breakfast Program. And then the third condition is that uh, the child was not able to receive free or reduced price meals at school because the child had an unexcused absence, attended school virtually or was homeschooled due to the COVID related reasons. Uh, so anyways, guys, families will receive $8.18 for each school day that their child did not receive meals at school because of the child had an excuse absence or attended a school virtually or was homeschooled due to COVID related issues. The PBT benefit amount equals the federal reimbursement rate for breakfast, lunch, as well as a snack for $8.18 per child per eligible school day. Families will not receive PEBT benefits for the days that their children attend the school in person and receive meals at school or for absent virtual or homeschool days that are not due to COVID-19. So uh, anyways, guys, families will receive the PEBT benefits for all eligible children in their home according to the schedule right here on the screen. And I won't necessarily read this for you, but you can see right here, guys, that uh, those particular benefits, uh, they actually know when exactly they will be distributed. And then in addition to that, we can also see that the summer 2023 benefits, uh, it looks like those have been distributed or should be distributed around the October 13th time frame. So uh, anyways, guys, obviously that date has passed, but I would only assume that they might be running behind, which means that some individuals are still waiting to receive their summer 2023 PEBT benefits. So uh, anyways, guys, that is just a little bit of an update in regards to the benefits for Delaware. Uh, these are considered retroactive benefits uh, outside of the 2023 summer time frame. But uh, anyways, guys, just wanted to give that information to you. But other than that, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, that's all we have for you today. But feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description. There are a couple of opportunities for you to earn some free money, such as signing up with Webull, where they are giving away 12 free stocks and those could be worth $3,000. Also, don't forget about signing up for Rakuten where they are the world's largest cashback website where you can receive money on making your regular online purchases. Especially this is a good time as Black Friday is around the corner as well as Christmas shopping. And then also don't forget about getting the Amazon Prime
Prime membership for free for 30 days. Anyways, if you are interested, check out the links down below. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.